Welcome back. In this lesson we're going to show you another way to fix this photo that we fixed in the previous lesson. So we're going to go to um, Image, Adjustments, and Variations. Notice how this menu option is you're able to select it. The reason you're able to select it is because the image is in 8-bit mode. So I changed it from 16 to 8-bit mode. And to do that I went to Image Mode from 16 to 8-bit. So we're going to go a little backwards here. We're going to pick Variations. Variations is a great command for people who may not know what color to apply to fix a color. So you have your original and you have your current pick right here. So you can add more cyan to the photo, more red, more yellow, more green, or more magenta or more blue and see how it works. You can adjust it according to the shadows or highlights or saturation. Um, you can make finer controls or more loose controls as you can see there that helps you out. You can put it in the middle there. And as we can see from this image, it maybe looks a, it may need some more red. So you just click on it, and it adds more red. But then you can say, oh, it looks a little bit too red, so maybe I'm wrong. So maybe you need more cyan. OK. Does it need more yellow? No. No, it looks like it needs more blue. OK. Then you can come over to this side and say, does it need to be lighter or darker? Um, maybe a little bit darker. OK. And you click OK. And you can adjust it for each one. So you can click on Shadows and then adjust it. And you'll see here that you see some clipping. This is because I have this indicated, which shows you these colors are going to clip to pure black or pure white. Let's go to Highlights. OK, you don't see any clipping there. So I'm going to go back to Midtones. You can save these or and you can load these. You can press Alt and your Cancel will change to a reset if you want to reset it. And then you click OK. And what's the problem? Yes, you have the same problem as you did with the shadow and highlights. You're affecting the actual image data of the background. And if you want to readjust it, you can't. So how do you fix that? Remember, we go to Edit, Undo Variations. We right-click on the background, convert it to a smart object. You see the indication right here. Then you go to Image Adjustments, Variations, again. And this time, we're going to choose maybe here. I don't know. see here. Maybe I like more cyan for some reason. OK, a little bit darker maybe. Nah, actually lighter. Let me go to shadows. Yeah, maybe a little bit more red in the shadows. And you can see some clipping occurring. You can usually um, fix that by going to hue saturation and desaturation or using curves. I'm going to click OK. And now let's look what happens. You can see here it applies it as a smart filter. And I'm able, as you can see, it's too dark and obviously didn't fix it. I can double click on variations to bring up the command again. And this time I can go to highlights. OK, let me go back to midtones. Maybe add more yellow. And then click OK. And you can see that I didn't fix it, but I would need to. Um, I can go back to variations and fix it over and over again. Actually, let me double click on that. And what I like about it is I can click Alt, reset, and that'll reset it. And then I can go back to midtones and see that maybe I need to add here, here, maybe a little bit lighter. And then go back to highlights. Now, shadows maybe. And let me make it a little bit coarser so I can see. OK. And click OK. And then if you don't like the filter, obviously we still need to fix it. So you can see variations can help you, but at the same time it can be a little bit more difficult. Um, you can see the before and after by just clicking off before and then after, before and then after. I prefer the other methods we used earlier, but this is another method to correct photos.